what is your advice to young Africans to help them uh, help them do their bit to progress the development of them, themselves first and their communities? Well, I would say um, the, the first thing I would say is just to start something. Okay. Any, any idea, no idea is useless or impractical, no matter how lofty it is. Mm. You can always take something from it to implement in some way. And for me, what I found useful in my experience is always working with small communities. So whether it's to volunteer, even if you volunteer at like the motherless baby's home. Yeah. Or, or you know, at an, you know, any small organization or small community, go into those communities, even if it's in a village, and see how people are living, see the issues that are affecting people. You understand more than you could ever read about. Yeah. Just from hearing people's stories, from seeing the realities that you probably don't even, you're not experiencing. It puts life in a totally different perspective. And I think one thing we need in Africa is an understanding of our issues or our, our situations, our yeah. realities. Because I think that there's a disconnect as well. Those of us that are privileged, lucky enough, we don't really know what the average African that is struggling on like less than $2 a day is yeah, living. Yeah, we, we true. care about it. We do case studies in school about it. But what is that going to do until you go and talk and to you see person, it, or you see it, or yeah. maybe you even try to experience it yourself? Yeah. Or your situation, your circumstances change. God forbid, but still, you know, you that's when you're like, okay. This is this is something people cannot continue to live like this. Yeah. Then you begin to ask more questions. You begin to hold your leadership accountable. You begin to see what you as an individual can do in certain communities yeah. to make life, life better. You can't solve all the problems, but it, it ignites a hunger in you to change things because you realize how there's so much injustice in the world and it's not fair for people to live like that. So I would say get involved on those, you know, grassroots yeah. levels, really understand what is happening and just start something. Offer to volunteer somewhere. You don't have to create a business because yeah. I know a lot of okay. people want to create a business. <laughs> That's the, and, but you don't have to do that to be successful or to okay. change. Yeah. You can literally be part of the conversation by just getting involved, asking questions. If you can, Take a trip to a different African country or a different village, even within your country. Mm. Spend a day or two minimum. Yeah. And just so li live with the people. Live with the people and your life will change. And then yeah. you will realize, okay, we need to do something about a lot of these issues. That's the that's my two cents. I, I agree. I I I I wholly agree. Yes. Yes. 